Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be playing some Lemon Neon Melon or Lemon Melon Neon. I'm not sure which order we're supposed to read it in. I've seen it in a couple different ways and the uh, the placard here at the beginning, the title screen, does not seem to give it away. So I'm going to read it in the order that it is given at the bottom, which is Lemon Neon Melon. Anyway, why are we playing this game? I have no idea. It looks bizarre and it looks like it's right up my alley. I'm a very passionate person when it comes to all three of these items. Lemons... Love them. Neon, awesome, couldn't live without it. Melons, hey, hey they're pretty cool too. Uh, so with that, let's just get into it. I'm not really sure what we're about to see here, and I hope it's something awesome. So here we go, let's play. Okay, I guess it's a matching game. So that was a lemon, that's a melon, 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 lemon, neon. Okay, so at the bottom we're hitting the buttons that correspond with what it is on screen, and this is going to be an amazing challenge for me to be able to do this while also talking. Uh, melon, lemon, lemon, neon. So these three items, I guess, are fairly incidental. I'm not sure they really have much to do with anything, but like I said, they're pretty cool things, and I totally support them being around. Uh, melon, melon. Uh, the timer seems to be going down faster and faster, so I need to be actually picking up the pace for me to have any chance at being able to do this. Otherwise, uh, the other option is there's just a bunch of things that show up consecutively that will help me. Uh, all right, so there we go. I answered 45, and I scored 7,076. Uh, 7,176. So, uh, yeah, fairly okay, I think, for my first game, and also talking over it. A uh, pretty challenging thing, and a pretty simple concept for a game. Basically, three different options, and see if your brain can keep up. Let's try another round. Okay, we got neon right off the bat. Neon, 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 lemon, melon, melon, neon, melon. It tries to trick you, because then you see these, these pictures, you get started to burn into your mind a little bit, and all of a sudden, what you thought was a melon is actually neon. It's just a different form of melon. I don't know. It's a, <laughs> it's a pretty silly thing. Uh, to be honest, this is really not so much of a game as it is more like a time waste or a diversionary type of thing. Uh, you know, not to diminish that it is. it has some game-like qualities. It's just, you know, there's not a whole lot of depth here. It's really just, uh, you know, an experiment to see how well you can keep up. Uh, with this very obtuse concept of matching this image. I mean, it could be like playing Fast Simon in a way, just, you know, a little bit less based on memorization, a little bit more based on reaction time. All right, let's try again. So, neon, neon, neon. If we get the same one randomly, like, 20 times in a row, that would certainly give me a nice advantage. That was definitely, uh, that was a neon, not a lemon. I think I've started to get it, so, like, the pictures, I, I just, I'm not even seeing them, I guess. Like, I just sort of jump to the conclusion of where I need to be, and now that's where it's going to start to fool me. So the longer I play, maybe the worse I'm going to get. I'm not sure. Maybe when it's fresh in your mind, you're better equipped to do uh, some melon, neon, lemoning, or whatever we're doing. Uh, melon, neon. I gotta say it out loud, otherwise, you know, it's even harder. Um, I would love to see uh, some DLC for this, maybe. You know, add, uh, you know, cantaloupe. Well, I guess it's kind of like a melon, but we could add, you know, other other factors. That's only the second time, by the way, that I've lost to actively picking the wrong one, as opposed to letting the timer run down. So, I guess, uh, my brain is okay at this, which probably would help if I was quiet for a second. Let's see if I can do one, uh, without talking. Then you can hear the buttons press. Watch, I'm probably not gonna be any better, actually. <laughs> and those naysayers of you at home that might say, Hey, I saw that you do this, this looks real easy. Oh, that was not a melon, that was a neon. Well, I started talking. Uh, it's not quite as easy as it might look. I mean, the concept is super simple, and you should be able to wrap your mind around it in about five seconds. Uh, but actually executing on it really quickly, that could be a whole other challenge. And I'd like to see myself get really fast at this. That was a lot of neon in a row. Melon, lemon, neon, melon. There's just enough things. If we had, like, five or, like, four even, probably would be more than my brain could handle. Also, the input would start to get a little less intuitive, because right here we have uh, three things that line up with your fingers very nicely. You know, lemon on the left, melon on the right, neon in the middle, and uh, we go for the, the high score every time, and it's pretty addictive, honestly. Uh, I feel like I can do better every time, and it's probably just going to involve me getting on a running streak of the same item a bunch of times to really extend out that timer, because once we get further in, uh, it starts to go by really, really fast. Left, left, down, right, down. I'm starting to hear them in my head as a sequence of arrow keys instead of actually what they are, which is why I'm able to keep talking over top of it, apparently. I feel like I'm still going really slow, though, even though I think my mind is probably processing them fast, processing them 
faster than my actual fingers are going. I'll do one or two more here. Melon, lemon, melon, lemon, down, 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 left, down. That is not down. That is not a neon at all. You're trying to trick me. Very curious why these items happen to be the items that they are. I mean, I'm not discouraging it. I think these are great items. They're just like, why that order? Why those things? Do neons and melons have neons? Those are not even a thing. Neons are not a thing. Why would these have to do with each other? I don't know. But I like it. I like the way you think, crazy developer, whoever you are out there. You're not crazy. You're just you're a little different like me. I think we operate on some of the same ideologies. Um, melon, lemon, 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 down, right, down. No! Ah. I wanted to break 50 answers. I think that would... That's, I hit lemon on that for some reason. <laughs> right. That's not lemons. Ugh. Yeah, I'm starting to get frazzled because I keep picking the wrong one, and now I'm losing my cool, and it's making me act impulsively. So it's it's an interesting metagame when you think about it. Even though this is so simple, uh, there are ways that your mind can get the better of you, in even in something as simple as selecting the correct item out of three things. Which is why I often wonder, people who do like, factory Q&A work, like, looking at a line of items as they come down some sort of assembly line and, like, making sure that all of them look the way they're supposed to look. Like, how do you do that over a long period of time and then come in and do it a day after day after day after day? Like, don't you eventually stop seeing the thing you're supposed to see? Like, how do you combat that kind of fatigue? So, you know, almost nothing to do with the game in a more general sense, but still kind of an interesting thing, you know, life philosophy-wise that I wonder about. You know, maybe anybody uh, in the comments that has ever worked a job like that would be happy to chime in, because I'd love to hear what you say. Like, how do you handle that kind of a stress? And how would you go about getting better at Lemon, uh, Neon, Melon? Oh, I was at 43, I probably could have had it, but I let my mind slack off a little bit towards the end there. Neon, Neon, Lemon, Neon, Neon, Lemon, Melon, Lemon, Neon. It's an interesting tongue twister, too, saying those things a bunch of times. Try it. Say, uh... Lemon, neon, melon, five times fast or something. No, that is... Oh. It's so much harder than it looks, I promise you. Just go play it, by the way. It's totally free. Uh, you can go ahead and grab it. It's going to... Well, not grab it, but play it right in your browser. Uh, link's going to be right there. You know, it takes all of five seconds to figure out how to do it. It probably won't even take five seconds to load into your browser. Uh, melon, melon, neon, lemon, melon, melon, neon, neon, melon. What? Oh, it's not a melon! Oh, I actually tricked myself that time. Alright, now it's getting a little silly. I'm not sure how many minutes of uh, watching me play Lemon Neon Melon you really can handle. And also the amount of times I've said that now. Maybe somebody could go back and count it, because that's pretty funny. <laughs> Never thought I'd use those words so many times in one video. Let alone ever in my life, necessarily. So anyway, that's going to do it for another episode, guys. I know it's a pretty short one, pretty simple concept, but I still think... Uh, there are some redeeming values to this kind of a thing, uh, even if it's only from a game design perspective, to start to learn uh, what we can do with the human mind. And this is a pretty good example of the parabolic reaction that the mind has to looking at images and trying to sort them. You know, you start out fresh, and the concept seems like it's a new thing. You know, you start to get used to it, you see the images, and then all of a sudden you're starting to second-guess yourself. So that first moment, you maybe have already reached your peak, and then you go back down. Maybe you can... I'm going to pull the second peak back down again. I don't know. It probably operates like a wave. I mean, parabolic is not the correct uh, criteria to be measuring this on. But anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you for hanging out. As always, be sure to check out the description so you can check out this video game itself. This video game itself? I don't know. Uh, go visit it. Check it out. It's in their browser. Play it. Let me know your high score. I'd love to hear if you could break 50. You probably can pretty easily if you're not talking. Uh, and then, uh, you know, come back again soon because we've got more episodes as always. Uh, other social media links like my Facebook page, my Twitter, and my Twitch page are all available in the description as well. And if you'd like to stop back again or visit uh, indie-impressions.com, that would be highly recommended and welcomed. Any support, of course, you can leave is great as well. I'd love to hear from you all. Uh, your dis your uh, comments, opinions, all of that stuff is very much welcomed uh, down below in the comments area. So... I will see you next time, and I hope you will come back, because new episodes are every single day. I will catch you tomorrow, and I hope you have a lovely night. Later!